the white. Put the tissue paper. I want to see you alone before you leave for Morocco. Excuse me. I don't want us to part enemies. Well, then you're expecting too much. My husband and my friendship. I never meant to hurt you. It was just the way things had to happen. Do you really believe that? Yes. Well, then I don't even know you. You're my sister, Frankie. We're different, of course, but we're sisters. Do you remember the day that you found out Philip was dead? I stayed up all that night with you. I helped you. I looked over you till you slept. And then, when Peter was killed in Beirut, I flew to be with you, remember? Sisters! I didn't want to come back. But you did. Well, you're in for some rude surprises. He's been with me for 28 years. I won't fight you. I don't need to. The memories will do that. Happy ones and the sad ones. You'll be fighting them for the rest of your life. We'll make our own. Maybe. But being his wife is more than arranging seating at dinner parties. He's so private. That was very hard for me at the beginning. I mean, you can see everything in my face. I'm an open book, but so little in his. So hard to know when he hurts and when he needs and when he doesn't. I had to learn that. So will you. It takes a long time. Of course, it takes more than time. If you had learned it, he'd still be yours. He still is. Jason and I could marry and remarry till the cows come home. We'd still belong to each other. You're stepping into my shoes, darling. And when the honeymoon's over, you'd better hope the fit's perfect. I came here to make peace. Well, you are not gonna get away with a hug and a kiss. You stole my husband, and I'll never forgive you.